So I want to add in one more uh, sort of improvement to this movie, which is that right now they're just statically standing there at the end of the hallway and, and carrying on this conversation. Suppose I want to have the movie start by having Lisa start way back here in the background and walk down the hall toward us. Uh, now there's a couple of issues we're going to have with making that look perfect, but we can sort of approximate that. So there's a couple of things we'll want to do if we want to, to, to produce that. First of all, there's the idea of, well, we want her to be back there, back in the hallway. And so, you know, I can move her back in the hallway, but, well, all I can really do is sort of move her around. You know, I'm not really moving her at the... It doesn't move her back there, right? If she were standing way back here in this doorway at the back of the hallway, she'd be a lot smaller. And so one of the things that I can do in the looks uh, menu is to actually change the size of characters, the size of actors. And so you'll notice down here that, w that there at the very bottom that I can change the size of particular uh, actors and I can set the size. And so what I might do is just show you this to begin with. Let's make her, instead of being 100% like she is now, let's make her 10%. And so I just double click on that. Uh, where'd she go? She's, she's, she's there right now, right? There she is. She's really small. And so, you know, we could put her sort of back here at the end of the hallway at her, at her 10%. And so maybe at her place is everybody. Maybe this isn't where she should go at the beginning. Maybe she should go back here in the end of the hallway. Uh, and so I know eventually I want her to come here. But right now, let's see, right now I've got her at negative 29, negative 9. And so I want her to, at the very beginning when I say place is everybody, to go to the back, get really teeny tiny, and switch to her normal costume. Right? And that's, that would put her back there. And now I want her to, to, to walk up the, the hallway here. Right? I want her to, as she walks down the hallway, she's going to get bigger. And so I want her to go from 10% to 100%. And so let's see, I could do that the following way. Right? I could repeat, she's already at 10%, so maybe nine times what I want to do is to have her change her size by 10. Right? So she starts at 10, and then she goes to 20, and then 30, and then 40. And if we do that nine times, she'll go to 100%. Uh, and, and if I do this right now, if you just actually run this right now, notice that she got re big really fast. Right? We, we want her to get big a little bit more slowly. And so we might want to put a small weight in here. I don't even have to wait a full second with this. I could say wait uh, you know, 3 tenths of a second, maybe. And so now we can kind of see her sort of like she's walking down the hallway with that. But notice that we've got a couple of problems. First of all, she's, she's not in the right place anymore, right? So I mean, she, when, I, when I start right now, she's back there in the right place. But, but as she gets bigger, she needs to move from this position, this minus 29, negative 9, to 44, negative 57. And so OK, now we've got to do a little bit of math here. Right? I know that I want to move from negative 29 and end up at 44. So I want to move approximately, if, if we do the math there, that is uh, 75 pixels of change in the x direction. And it's a total of, what's that? A total of 46 pixels in the, sorry, 48 pixels in the y direction. Right? So if we do the math here, there's a difference there of 75 and 48. And I'm doing that, I'm making nine mo movements. And so I, I don't want to just sort of move there at the, at the end. Right? I don't want to do this. I don't want to have the, the, the character move from this position, change nine times, and then jump at the very end. That's what this looks like. That's not what I want. Right? I want to have him sort of move this way as he's walking. And so what I can do is if we think about that very carefully, if I'm going to move 75 pixels uh, over, 75 pixels from a negative to the, po to the positive, so each time I, I, I move, I want to move 1 ninth of that 75 pixels. And so what I'm going to do is to add into here a change x by, let's see, 75 divided by 9 means that I want to remove roughly 8 pixels each time, right? 8 pixels in the positive direction. And then I want to move from negative 9 to negative 57. That was 48. 
48 divided by 9 is roughly 5 pixels. But notice it's 5 in the negative direction, right? I, mean, I start at negative 9 and I want to get 5 more pixels negative each time. So I want to change y by negative 5. And so now I can get this all set up. And a little bit of math there, but you can start to see that, that she sort of glides down the hall. It's not a perfect uh, solution here, but she sort of comes down the hall uh, telling this to her joke, or you know, getting bigger and changing location as she comes. And that, that's a pretty simple little approximation, but it allows us to, to handle all that. Now, unfortunately, right now, everything's messed up. Right? My joke sequence is off for John, and as you're going to see in a second here, <laughs> my, my symbol crashes all off. And so every, we talked about this in the previous video. Every time I make a small adjustment here, I have to go in and adjust the timing. Over the last couple of lessons, we've made a couple of small improvements to our story, but collectively they've made the story a little more interesting. As we look forward to the next lesson, I want you to think about what are some of the challenges that you think we might be facing as we make our stories increasingly complex and how we might try to manage some of that complexity. But we'll do that in the next lesson.